You asked, I have the answer. What is the best minimap mod for Minecraft? Well, that is Journey Map. And it's not just a minimap mod, it's an entire map mod for Minecraft. It adds in a minimap that's super customizable, but it also adds in a full screen map that allows you to easily move around your world and see your builds from a top-down perspective. Added that the fact that waypoints are built in, and truthfully, the limits are endless with what you can do as far as maps, waypoints, marking things in your world, and everything else in between with Journey Map. So nevertheless, let's go ahead and get Journey Map installed in Minecraft 1.19.1. First things first, you want to go to the second link in the description down below. That will take you here. This is our text guide on getting Journey Map. It's very in-depth and honestly something that you should check out if you have any issues or anything like that. But once you're here, click on the yellow download Journey Map button. That will take you to Journey Map's official download page where you want to come over here to the right-hand side and scroll down to the Minecraft 119 section. And then when you're here, you want to make sure you're downloading the 119.1 version of Journey Map. So for us, that's Journey Map 119.1. And then you want it to say Forge at the end, which this one does. This may be release or a green version right here at the beginning. It might be green very, very soon. But at the time I'm recording this, it's currently in beta. But as you can see, 1.19.1, and then at the end, it has dash forge. Come over and click on the orange download button here, and the download will begin after a few seconds. While it's downloading, though, have a miss from our sponsor, Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to start your very own 24-hour DDoS-protected Minecraft server. Apex Minecraft Hosting is the best place to start your Minecraft server, and at Apex, you have 24-hour, 7-day-a-week support should you have any issues. We actually haven't tested Apex so much that we host all of our Minecraft servers on Apex Minecraft Hosting, truly putting our money where our mouth is. Last but not least, if you want to add mod packs, mods, or plugins, it's super easy to do it at Apex, with actually over 200 mod packs having one-click installation. So again, start your server at Apex Minecraft Hosting at the first link down below the breakdown to XYZ slash Apex. Nevertheless, as you can see, Journey Map has now downloaded. In the bottom left Google Chrome specifically, you can see Journey Map, where you may need to keep or save the file depending on your browser. That is, save it in the server screen on Firefox. Now moving on, we need to download Forge. Forge is uh, the mod loader that allows Journey Map to actually work in Minecraft. You can find it linked in the description, and once you're here, this is our complete guide on getting Forge. We're going to go over the basics in this video, but should you need help, this is what this guide's for. Once you're here, click on the green Download Forge button to be taken off to Forge's official download page. Once you're here, you want to make sure that Minecraft 119.1 is selected. As you can see, it's not here. We have MC119. To do 119.1, click it on the left-hand side here, and there it is. Once you see Minecraft 1.19.1 here, come under Download Latest and click on Installer. I would take time to add focus where stop, don't click anything on this page whatsoever. You don't have to click a single button on this page, just wait about 10 seconds. After about 10 seconds, a red skip button will appear on the top right. Once that red skip button appears on the top right, click it and Forge will download in the bottom left of Google Chrome. As long as Forge is in the title, it is super safe and completely safe to keep Forge. Same thing goes for Firefox, downloading in the server screen. As long as Forge is in the title, it's safe to keep it. And let's go ahead and minimize our browser here and we want to drag Forge and Journey Map to your desktop. They're most likely resting in your downloads folder right now and you can find them by clicking the little windows icon. Top up to my screen, bottom up to your screen, or bottom center of screen on Windows 11, and yes, this is fully working on Windows 11. Dive in downloads, you got this downloads file folder here. Open that up, and in here we have Forge and Journey Map. Drag and drop these to your desktop just for ease of use. Once we've got these on your desktop, we're going to be starting off with installing Forge. To do that, right click on it, click on Open with, click Java, and click OK. But Nick, I don't have Java, or these icons are weird. They don't look like yours. Well, in both cases, you'll need to download and install Java 17. Java 17 is required in order to run Forge with Minecraft 1.19.1. And specifically, it's required for Minecraft mods because Minecraft mods require Forge. Luckily, this is our complete guide. It's in the description down below on how to get Java. It goes over everything you need to know. We also have the jar fix link down below. It's going to take all the jar files on your computer and link them back to Java once you've got Java 17 installed. That's where you can fix your icons and make them look like mine. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and install Forge. Right click on it, click on open with, click Java, and click OK. That's going to open up the mod system installer for Forge. We're going to click on install client and click OK. Now it's going to download, install, set up Forge for Minecraft. The only reason you would have an issue here is if one, you have Minecraft or the Minecraft launcher open. Close out of both of those and then redo this installation process. Or two, you've never played Minecraft 1.19.1 before. If that's the case, go play it, come back, and this will work. But as you can see, successfully installed Client Profile Forge for version 1.19.1. Awesome. Click OK. We'll close out of the Forge installer and we can delete Forge from our desktop. It is now time to install Journey Map. To do that, open up the Minecraft launcher here. 
And then once you're in the Minecraft launcher, you want to go ahead and make sure forward select it. Now for me, it's automatically selected if it is for you, and it says 119.1 dashboard under it. Click play and click play again. Skip forward a little bit in the tutorial. However, if you are not having Forge down here, Forge isn't down here, click on installations. Then make sure modded is checked. As you can see we unchecked modded, Forge disappears, check modded, there it is. Click play, click play again. But if Forge still isn't here, or you don't have the right version, 119.1 specifically, Click on new installations. You can name it whatever you want. I'm gonna name it Forge because, well, it's a Forge installation. And then under version, we wanna click this drop down box here. Then we wanna scroll down and click on the Forge 119.1 right here. Release 119.1 Forge. That's what we want. Click on that. I'm gonna change the resolution so we can see once we get in game. And then click create in the bottom right. We now have this new Forge profile with 1.19.1 Forge under it. Hover over this, click play, click play again, and now it's time to install Journey Map. Welcome back! If you had already had your Forge profile, this is where you can pick up to get how to install Journey Map. It's super simple from this point, it's gonna blow your mind. Let's get installed. From the Minecraft main menu, click on Mods, and then click on Open Mods folder in the bottom left. That's a little fast, so let's do it again. From the Minecraft main menu, click Mods, and then click Open Mods folder in the bottom left. Your Mods folder will open, where we want to take Journey Map and drag and drop it from our desktop into this Mods folder. Now if we come back to Minecraft, Journey Map's not there, and it's not going to be there until we click Done and Quit Game. Then we want to open up the Minecraft Launcher again. You should now have your Forge profile automatically selected. Right there it is for me. If it's not here, just click on this arrow and select it. Then you want to go ahead, click the green play button, click play again, and then Minecraft's going to open up with Journey Map installed. It's that easy. Like I said, once you get Minecraft open, it is super, or once you get Forge open, excuse me, it is super easy to install Journey Map. From the main menu, we can click Mods, and there it is, Journey Map, right like so. Now we can also go into our single player world, of course, and we can see this world in Journey Map. Now, when you first join in with Journey Map, you're actually going to see how to use it in chat, so that's going to be pressing J. There's also a lot of other, you know, different buttons and things that you can use, but as you can see, press J to open Journey Map. We press J, we get with this kind of intro screen here, and then click close, and here it is. Here is Journey Map. It will start loading in around us in real time. It's actually kind of cool, as you can see, uh, all this world editing <laughs> that I did. I built like kind of this weird bridge and everything, or play some stuff with uh, diamonds in a previous tutorial. All of this is showing up on the map, which is what's so cool. You can see your builds from a top-down perspective. I want to go ahead and uh, waypoint this because it's kind of cool. So we can go ahead and double click anywhere on the map and immediately set a waypoint. I'm going to name this the uh, world edit place. So we can name it world edit place. Let's say we don't want it to be green. We want it to be more of a yellow. And there we go. We can do that. Save. Awesome. It is there. What's even cooler is we'll be able to see this. Right there it is. That's where we clicked. That's where that's at. As you explore, though, you can actually use this to your advantage to find, for example, a village that might not be visible with your render distance, but is visible in Journey Map. You can also see the mini map in the top right up here. So we press J, and then we go into our options here, which is down here at the bottom. We can actually change the different things with that mini map, turn it on, turn it off, all that stuff, what it shows. All of that can be kind of, you know, changed here and moved around. On top of that, you also have Waypoints Editor down here at the bottom. You can click on that and see all of your waypoints. Last but not least, your keybinds are as follows in the bottom right. You can see these. They are uh, kind of hard to see, honestly. But basically, to open up the Waypoints menu right away, you can press the N key. You can show slash hide the full screen map with J, as we already know. And you can create waypoints with B right where you're standing. So, for example, if you wanted to create a waypoint right here, like on top of this tree, we can come here and press B, and boom, there we are, right in the waypoint editor, and we can say top of a tree. We'll name the, we'll obviously make this green because that is fitting. Save that, and now we have the top of a tree waypoint saved right there. Boom. So that's how you can use this mod. Journey Map is truthfully one of the best mods out there. You can see how expansive it gets. I mean, we've not been anywhere near here, and we already know that's there. For example, though, we can also zoom in and see. Look at that. It's kind of a cool little biome sort of area. We can see that because even though we've never been there, it's on Journey Map. Even with this uh, sort of, what is this, uh, some sort of ravine that cuts through here? Really, really cool. Yep, right here it is. And uh, it's all in there. Journey Map is showing it. So great stuff. This works in the end. This works in the nether. All that stuff as well. So truly amazing mod. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. But I hope you enjoy the Journey Map mod. Give this video a thumbs up if you did. Enjoy it. And uh, subscribe to the channel for more incredible Minecraft tech and gaming tutorials, guides, all that stuff every single day of the week. My name's Nick, and I'm out. Peace.